know in the chat uh, how sound is, all that good stuff. Uh, there, like, there's a lot of things happening right now at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere. So, bear with us here. But in the meantime, we're going to get into this match. Beiji versus Proto Banham. So, this is in Fukuoka, so I'm guessing Beiji is a uh, Kyushu uh, native. Meanwhile, Proto Banham in the Tokyo area. We played not too long ago uh, at, uh, what is it, uh, Shinosuma, and I got kind of cooked. Um, I got badly cooked, and unfortunately for Beige, he's kind of getting cooked right now, too. Not a good way to start off this match. But there we go. Rush down Pac-Man. Ooh. Down air for Mimin. Always a good way to get back to the stage quick. Nice. Way. Good interception. So let's see how Beiji can uh, force the advantage off stage, but fortunately for him, Protobana makes it back. Very nice, but back off stage. Ooh, good grab, but just stepped on him for the kill. Very nice. Very quick, very nice reversal there, and didn't take too much uh, damage himself. So I think uh, Beiji's kind of, uh, he's playing really aggressive. I think his game plan is to really just stay in Mimmin's face so she can't use her noodles to get around Pac-Man's uh, traps. And try to get her off stage as fast as possible because Pac-Man can easily chase Mimmin off, off stage for, uh, for a pretty cheesy kill. But Proto Bantam's not having any of it, stay keeping Beige at range. Ooh. That was a good wake up attack. If you can hear the other commentators over me, uh, <laughs> they call Pac-Man a soccer ball. It's only if uh, they, if um, Proto Bantam hits uh, Pac-Man with the uh, Dove Smash. That's a field goal kick. Ooh, good no neutral get out of dodge. Megawatt, ooh, punishing Megawatts. Oh, scoop. Proto Bantam, so good about controlling the items. All right. Proto Bantam tried to chase him down, but not gonna work. So now it's basically been an even game. Nice, that was a tricky, that was a tr tricky move. But who needs a tricky move when you got the noodles? Yep, Pac-Man's recovering from that easily. <laughs> Just holding shield menacingly. Nice, good bait. Good, even better DI right there. Beiji trying really hard not to just explode right now. This should be dead. Well, no, not dead yet. Up tilt, no, not gonna do it. Okay, there we go. Now he's dead. So, we are at the last stock here of game one. We are doing these two out of three. Because this is a one day uh, major event. Ooh. Good uh, maneuverability with the side B. And we. Nice. <laughs> like I, like to, I heard him call the, uh, the Pac-Man key the keyblade, which is kind of, kind of true. Ooh. So even though Beiji got like a lot of damage on Banham, Banna's been really good about just resetting the range that he wants to play at. Well, this could be it right now. Depends how Beiji keeps uh, Proto Banham in disadvantage. Ooh, man, trying to scoop. Scoop. All right. You can't let Proto Banham live much longer, dude. Like, the longer ba Banham lives, that's just more information that he's going to take into uh, game two. Oh, just out of range. Hey, there we go. Back air. Beiji doing a little bit of a flex there. Banam getting a quick drink of water. You know Banam's not going to... Banam isn't going to take that lying down. You know that, right? I hear the com commentators. Yabai. Yeah, 
So good stuff there to Beige, taking that game one. Uh, I kind of feel like Pokemon Stadium 2 will be the pick again for Bantam, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh man, hits the spot. So yeah, chat, hit some buttons. Uh, how you guys doing tonight? Uh, I'll let you boy. Once again, Z-Mang's here. Z-Mang GZ, I just uploaded a new video to the YouTube, youtube.com slash Z-Mang's, talking about Sonic Forces. Don't listen to his lies, Beige. He's just trying to get in your head. Also, I'm gonna say this right now, Beige is dressed really nice. Got a nice button up on, got some, got some slacks. It's a bit cool today in Tokyo, but uh, I can imagine the weather in Fukuoka is a bit more, uh, I don't know. I've been in Fukuoka once, I got insanely drunk. That place was awesome. I need to go back down there. All right, let's do this. Be all right. Beiji is sticking with the Pac-Man. Bantam must have the Lucina. He likes to do this. He likes to, like maybe like if his Mimin loses, he'll go Lucina just to uh, kind of mix up his opponents. And it's working right now because he's getting a, bordering on a zero to death right now. Hey, good counter. You can see in the player cam, Beiji was like, yeah, I got, I got hit by that. Beiji, get a hit on the man. So this is actually how the last game started. Uh, Beige got cooked his first stock, but uh, made it made it work. Nice. So don't cut him. Step on him. Got the key locked and loaded. Oh yeah, very good punch on the grab. Ooh, try to chase down with the cherry. Right. Those just throwing food at him. Oh, yeah, I don't like I don't like Beiji just uh Ooh, nice reset. I like Beiji going like holding forward against Minmin just to kinda keep in her range, the range that she doesn't want her opponents to be at. But I don't like that against uh, Lucina who you know has a big sword and is not afraid to use it. Wee, nice punish on the whiff grab. Once again, the key is loaded. Not going to need it. Just going to step on him and get a kill. So I think Beiji still, ooh. Beiji still has a horse in this race if he can uh, get the stock done with not too much more damage. But unfortunately for Bantam, or fortunately for Beige, Bantam is not having any of it. God, I love the game position from Beige. Just leaned way the heck forward. Ooh. Spacing. Nice high recovery. Yeah, this is a pretty bad spot for Beige. And Bantam is just looking to take it, take it home. Oh, a little bit of stutter there. Whew. Throw, but we take those. But unfortunately, you can't take that up air. All right, good stuff there to Branham pulling it together there for the game two. Beige not looking too happy. I'm pretty sure it's beige, -y, but I like saying beige. That's a good color. All right, so the counter pick is here for. Beige. We want. We got game one on Pokemon Stadium two. Game two was small battlefield. Where would I go? I'm not sure what the stage list is, but I'd imagine for Pac-Man, especially against like a Lucina and Mimin main, you kind of want somewhere with a little bit more uh, open room. So I'd imagine um, like Town City wouldn't be a bad choice. Bless me, I'm not a Pac-Man Pac player. I wish I was because he's really he's really fun, but he's difficult. Town and city. I, I called it. I, I'm, I'm, ama I'm amazing. 
So Banham is sticking with the Lucina, Rukina, if you're a weeaboo and speak the Nihongo. And of course, Beige sticking with the Pac-Mans, pac, pac -Mans. So let's see what adjustments Beige has here. Or as Brad Banham is gonna do his uh, Banham things and just take it. Wait, good spacing. Yep, Lucina does have an, a good get out of jail, get out of jail car with the up B. Another thing about uh, Beiji's Pac-Man I've noticed, he's, he's really favored the keys as much as possible. Maybe it's just like the burst damage. We, I haven't really seen him go for too many bells against uh, Proto Phantom. We, but fortunately, not much of an issue there. There you go, there's the bell. Nice. I said he wasn't pulling it out, but hey, pulled out the clutch moments. Guess that, quick reversal there. Unfortunately for Beige, he's in disadvantage and Proto Bantam is on him like me on a all you can drink uh, deal like Kabuki Cho. <laughs> Dirty down air. Beautiful air dodge though. Unfortunately, Pac Man's buttons don't have the best range. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> like I guess the Pac-Man, he's a tricky, tricky, ba tricky little bugger. Ooh, down tilt. Now Beiji is pulling out all the stops. Like he wants this win. Like he got all the way to top 32 for a reason. All right. Pac-Man above him, and Bantam is just not letting him touch the ground. Not letting the Hydrant do its thing either. This could be it. What's what's his end goal? Ah, nice. Beta the suicide. Page popping off. Focus on the game, man. You're not out of the woods yet. You're. You have this mountain client known as Proto Bantam, and he's not gonna let you have it for free. Rush down. Oh no. Bad spacing on the F smash. Could be it. And that's it. He's popping off. He's reverse popping off. <laughs> that's how they do things. I guess that's how they do things in uh, Fukuoka. Reverse pop off. You lose the very close matchup like that, but you uh, you still pop up anyway. You might as well have a good time there. Cause like I said, Fukuoka is a good time. <laughs> Doesn't want me to go out there, but I've been kind of broke. But that's how life it is. Yeah, that's not T. That's beige. Fun fact: there's more than one uh, Pac-Man user out there in the world. <sighs> so good stuff to Protobanda. I'm gonna be moving on in top 32. Uh, cool on, cool, cool one.